On the night of May 6, as a result of the operation conducted by the main intelligence department of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, a speedboat belonging to the occupying Russian army was shot down and disabled in Crimea. Information about this and images of the operation were released by the General Intelligence Directorate. According to information, the boat was shot down by a Magura V-5 Marine drone in Uzkaya Bay and disabled. Although the Russian side confirmed the attack on the boats by naval drones, it said that five drones were shot down and did not hit their targets. Ukraine's chief intelligence agency says that recently large ships belonging to the Russian Black Sea Fleet have anchored off the peninsula, only boats have been deployed in close proximity, and therefore have become targets of Ukrainian drones. Number of Russian troops in Ukraine significantly increases, Kyiv warns. The number of Russian troops on Ukrainian territory has significantly increased since 2022. Between 510,000 and 513,000 Russian servicemen are currently stationed in the temporarily occupied territories, citing Lieutenant General Oleksandr Pavlyuk, the commander of the Land Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. According to him, the number of Russian occupiers may increase over the year as Russia is bolstering its forces for summer offensives. We believe the Russians want to mobilize 100,000 more troops and that they will use these to reinforce their forces already in Ukraine in June and July, he said. Pavlyuk said that Russians are losing up to 30,000 personnel each month due to deaths and injuries. We estimate that by the end of the year, the Russians intend to mobilize about another 300,000 soldiers. However, they are losing between 25,000 and 30,000 personnel each month due to deaths and injuries, he said. Earlier in the fall, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that Russia plans to call up between 400,000 and 700,000 soldiers as part of a new wave of mobilization. This could also affect the temporarily occupied territories in Chechnya and Ukraine. As previously indicated by Ukrainian military intelligence, Russia continues mobilization efforts for the war against Ukraine. At the time, intelligence services said that over 20,000 individuals are mobilized each month. Additionally, former Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council Oleksiy Danilov previously said that Russia is attempting to recruit mercenaries from Central Asian countries for the war against Ukraine. Active mobilization of Russian occupation forces continues in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. In particular, miners and prisoners are being mobilized in the occupied Luhansk region. Kremlin concerned over Macron and Cameron's statements on Western troops and attacks on Russia. Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin's press secretary, has stated that the Kremlin was concerned about the latest statements by the French president and the UK foreign secretary regarding the possible presence of Western troops in Ukraine and UK weapons strikes on Russian Federation territory, calling them dangerous and escalating tension. Another extremely risky statement. We observe similar rhetorical escalation on the side of official representatives at the level of heads of state in France and at a more expert level in the United Kingdom, he added. The Kremlin spokesman stated that it was causing a direct escalation of tensions in the Ukraine conflict. He warned that this might pose a danger to European security, the entire architecture of European security. Here is a concerning trend of growing tensions in the official's statement that we kept track of. This makes us concerned, said Peskov. France's President Emmanuel Macron stated that he did not change his opinion on the deployment of Western troops in Ukraine. He considers such an approach correct and said that if the Russians break through the line of contact and Ukraine requests help, it is worth considering. UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron told Reuters that Ukraine has the right to use weapons provided by London to strike targets in Russia. Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Zidato has condemned the latest remarks from Emmanuel Macron about the option of sending troops to Ukraine and has warned such a move could ultimately spark an all-out nuclear war. Speaking to French broadcaster LCI, Zidato was asked for his take on Macron's renewed threat to deploy his country's troops to back up Kiev. 
The diplomat strongly condemned the idea, saying that the French leaders' comments themselves have contributed to escalating the situation. If a NATO member commits ground troops, it will be a direct NATO-Russia confrontation and it will then be World War III, Shidato told the broadcaster.